Hello, this time, we will make a running function with a stamina ung system. First, find and open the character blueprint in a third-person template. Next, create a keyboard event node and set the desired key. Next, create a bool variable to check the character's running. Create it as a set variable and connect it to the keyboard event node as shown in the video. Next, after creating an event tick node, the running function is checked in real time using the branch node. Then use one more branch node to connect to true and create a float variable to check whether stamina value is greater than 0.1. Make stamina value decrease gradually while running and bring the character movement component to the event graph to set character's max walk speed. If it's less stamina value than 0.1, Set the sprint variable to false to disable running. Next, duplicate one more max walk speed node and set the value to 150 to make it walk slowly. Copy the nodes as shown in the video and check the stamina value is one or more. If it's not more than one, let the stamina slowly fill up using the add node. Now if you play, you normally walk, and when you press the key assigned to the keyboard event, it runs and walks again after a certain period of time. Next, we will make a stamina um on the screen. Create a widget blueprint. After creating the overall frame with canvas panel, use the progress bar to create the stamina bar. Then set the percent to 1 to fill the stamina bar, then set it to the color you want. And click create binding so that you can connect the stamina variable in character BP to the progress bar. Let's go back to the character blueprint and create the widget. After creating the begin play node, connect the create widget node to set up the widget you just created. Finally, use the add to viewport node to output the widget. And set the sprint variable to false so that it is in a walking state when first started. Now when you play, you will see the stamina gauge bar appear, and the gauge will change as you run and walk.